Intelligence has discovered that the American ambassador to West Germany, Morris Monroe, is marked for execution by an organization calling itself H-A-R-M, or HARM. It is imperative that Monroe survive the attack. Be warned, though, that the ambassador is extremely nearsighted and almost deaf, so you won't be able to rely on him to realize that he is in danger. You will be positioned in a residential building across the street from the hotel. Your job is to pick off the assassins before they lick Liquidate Monroe. So, are you enjoying yourself yet? Immensely. Sure you're not bored? I've waited nearly four years for this chance. I think I can endure another half hour. Good girl. You're growing up. What do you make of all that talk of a traitor? It wouldn't be the first time we've had leaky plumbing. Still, it's disquieting to say the least. It's happened before? Once. A few years ago, we lost several undercover operatives in Istanbul. It turned out they'd been compromised by their chief's very own administrative assistant. He'd sold us out for a measly fifty quid. Fifty quid? Astonishing, isn't it? Trading men's lives for such a pittance. But spies are rarely well compensated for their treason. I wouldn't be surprised if this new mole is equally underpaid. Well, I hope when they catch the bastard, they put a bullet right between his eyes. And maybe a boot of his arse for good measure. You sound ready to volunteer. I'm dangerous when I'm upset. That's why you're always in trouble. All right. Munro's headed for the cafe. Watch for him on the second floor patio, coming from the left. What about the targets? Not sure yet. Pardon me. Uh, do you have the time? No, sir, I do not have a dime, and I don't have much use for beggars. Not a dime. The time. Don't get snippy with me, or I'll have you arrested. Are you deaf? How dare you threaten me? Oh, never mind. Coward! Would you like me to call out the targets for you? That would be lovely. On the roof to your left. I want to go home. But we've only been here for two days. On the roof to your right. Yeah. I like it here. Why not? On your left. Those Coming out the door on the far four. balcony. Well, it is a foreign country. I know that. But Canada is a foreign country, too. And isn't this foreign? But I thought the reason you wanted to come here was that it is so different. Yeah. Why don't you try to relax and enjoy yourself? I'll bet you have a lot of Dad, fun if you just stop worrying. Where's that dime? You think so? Sure. Maybe you're right. Of course. Straight ahead, right. to the right Let's of the tower. Let's walk down to the Medina and see some stuff. To your left, okay. on the far balcony. Straight ahead, to the right of the tower. Yeah. On your left, coming out the door on the far balcony. On your left, coming out the door on the far balcony. On your left, coming out the door on the nearest balcony.
front door of the hotel. Coming out the front door of the hotel. Good for nothing! There must be a hole in my pocket! Down the street on your left. Coming out the front door of the hotel. Coming out the front door of the hotel. On your right, street level. Scum! I'll cover him for the next stretch. Get to apartment 12 and wait for my signal. Oh, and make sure to conceal your weapon or you'll cause a commotion. I locked myself out again. How irritating. he plans to marry the American girl. You mean the girl who refuses to wear shoes? Yes, sir. I wonder if all American girls despise shoes. It seems very strange, but America is a strange country. She may be crazy, but she is attractive. Ah, but you're invariably attracted to crazy women. All women are crazy. <laughs> Shh, not so loud. I'm in position. Good. He's almost there. <coughs> Here he comes. Get ready. Heading toward you. Watch for him to pass in front of the right window. Just lost yourself a customer. This guy is too much. Second story window, far right. Not again. On your Where right. Come are around the you, you pesky little dime? Second story window, far right. I'd better find it quickly before the thieves swoop in On your like left. vultures. Coming around the building. around the building. Second story window, far right. On your right, coming around the building. On your left, coming around the building. You don't have to tell me that. I was standing right here. A little humility might suit you. I'm teasing. We make a pretty good team. Damn. They must have spotted you. There's a group of thugs heading your way. How many? 
Looks like six of them. Can you handle it? Of course I can. I'll meet you at the hotel in an hour. All right. Take care of yourself. First, I'm going to take care of some evildoers. Keep your men out of sight. We don't want to spoil our trap, do we? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. I mean, yes to the first part and no to the second part, sir. Shut up. Just do as I say, you idiot. You look like you need a monkey. Excuse me. I have a very fine monkey for you. Only twenty dollars American. Sorry, I don't want a monkey. What do you mean? I don't want a monkey. Why not? Because... seen you around I would definitely remember what did I tell you about flirting I wasn't mm. flirting just making an observation oh horse pucky I'm serious come on honey you're the only flower in my garden I'm not falling for that you're sleeping on the floor tonight what why I'm not speaking to you ah, come on don't start that again I'm not listening to you. Fine, have it your way. A little silence might be refreshing. Would be I'm hearing things.
stupid machine took my change. You, what pigs these people are! Mr. Volkov said the girl will be here soon. How will we recognize her? You didn't see the photograph on the bulletin board? What photograph? Bon Dieu! I'm sorry, nobody told me. Mr. Volkov was very specific at the meeting this morning. He said, be sure to study the photograph on the bulletin board. If you fail to recognize her, I'll assume something is wrong with your eyes and remove them for you. I missed the meeting. I had to drop my daughter at school. I don't want him to scoop out my eyes. I have no sympathy for you. You knew this was an important mission. You should have made other arrangements for your daughter. Can you describe the girl for me? What color is her hair? Why should I tell you? It would serve you right to have your eyes gouged out with a rusty spoon. You need to learn to prioritize. Please, I beg you. Is she young or old? How does she dress? She is 50 years old and wears a suit of armor. I don't believe you! She just turned 14, and she runs around in a bath towel. Curse you! May all your sons marry camels! If you must curse someone, curse yourself! There are a lot of people who would kill to have this job. You should take your work more seriously. Please, just tell me what color her eyes are. Blue? I'll kill every woman with blue eyes that I see. Brown? Green? I have to get back to my post. See you later. If you have eyes... Ah! Stay where you are! Do not move! even get decent reception in this place. Care for a frosty beverage. No thanks. Perhaps later. Am I just drunk? Go ahead. You have made my day. <laughs>
What sort of getaway did you have in mind? Something quiet and romantic. It's for our anniversary. Well, in that case, perhaps Azru might just be the ticket. It's quiet and less touristy than Fez. That sounds marvelous. <laughs> I wanted to go to France, but Clark insisted on coming to Morocco. This vacation is exactly what I needed. I want to get out and see the Medina, but it's so hot outside. Any sign of her yet? Nope. Damn, I gotta pee! Well, go then. What if she shows up while I'm in the restroom? Good point. Can you hold it? I guess so. Which goons did you mean? The creepy looking guys in front of the conference room. They must have been too late to get into the seminar. Can I ask a favor of you? What kind of favor? I don't want to be hassled by those guys. Would you be a dear and distract them for me? No problem. I like the attention anyway.
usual. I was beginning to worry. You always worry. Can you blame me? You're like an errant child. And you're like a fussy aunt. You could at least leave my gender intact. A fussy uncle, then. Thank you. I'm having fun. I can see that. But don't get reckless. We're not out of danger yet. I know. This place is crawling with thugs. Damn! How did they find us? We've been betrayed. It's the only explanation. Are you sure you weren't followed? Yes, positive. If they know about the hotel, they'll probably be waiting for us at the coast. We'll have to risk it. If we aren't aboard the Abigail when she sails, we'll have to get out of Morocco on our own. Or you could stay here. Permanently. Volkov! Get down, this girl! I have dreamed about this day for six years. Bruno! I only regret I do not have time to make your demise more eventful. After him. This is all my fault. If you hadn't been worrying about me, he never would have got the drop on you. <sighs> Silly girl. Worrying about you is all I have left. Don't say that. I've always had plenty to die for. You've given me something to live for. Then live. In your memory, perhaps. Bruno! The girl's in the lobby. Kill her! But why didn't you kill her, Mr. Volkov? I meant to, but my hunger for revenge distracted me. Let that be a lesson not to be ruled by your emotions. Excellent advice, sir. Well, I'll go shoot her now. Make sure there are no witnesses. You mean we should kill everybody? First, kill everybody. Then, destroy the hotel. Let our enemies search the rubble for answers. They shall find none. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stay where you are! Thank you! Ah! 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 You can't hide from me, Volkov. I'll find you wherever you go. Kill her, you incompetent fools! Everybody's shooting at each other. <laughs> <laughs> 